Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life is good. Let's get right to it. I didn't have time yesterday, man. Real life gets in the way. This afternoon, swamped with students, so uh, I got to get this up now. I'm going to make it short and sweet, but it's a good one. Anyway, very, very unique what you're about to hear. So, um, anyway, you saw the thumbnail? The tremendous. Triscary Brothers, just legendary stuff, man. Uh, nobody out there doing it like that today. Not even close. Until we get the nephew's chops up, then, then, then you'll hear some, then you'll hear some playing. Anyway, we'll talk about that. Uh, let me honk a little bit, and we will uh, take it from there. Guys, it just gets easier. It just gets easier. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a 1SB. Take some lessons. And you have the best chops of your life. Garen freaking teed. All right? Anyway, uh, the Triscari brothers. Now, we uh, stumbled onto a little diamond in the rough in that they're... Um, nephew, Joe Triscari, named after Uncle Joe, um, has stumbled across our website and uh, is taking lessons and playing uh, the three mouthpiece, which uh, is a story unto itself. <coughs> but he's killing it, killing it in Oklahoma. And the thing, the reason, the thing is so cool about it, as you know, I like to have this community that people can uh, come on and really discuss some really cool stuff about trumpet. And he is a natural resource for that golden age of trumpet and that genre of playing the West Coast studio scene player, where his two uncles were just legendary, Ray Triscari and um, um, Joe Triscari. Now, Uncle Joe died tragically before Joe was born. He never met him. Uncle Ray, on the other hand, Really took him under his wing, used to drag him kicking and screaming to Tonight Show performances when he was sub when he was playing with the Tonight Show Orchestra. But the point is, guys, the Ardinos, uh, John Ardino, the Condolis, he knows all about that stuff. Um, it's just an incredible, incredible time, Manny Klein, to be a um, trumpet player. And you talk about the golden age. Now, I was privy to the golden age on, in New York. You heard of it. Now, again, this was before social media. You heard about what was going on on the West Coast. But now, Joe is just Joe Triscari. The nephew is just an unbelievable source to all that stuff. So when I get stuff like this, I can't put everything up. But... Um, there's just so much good stuff. Anyway, what I'm going to put down below in a link, believe it or not, before John Williams was John Williams, he was actually Johnny Williams, and he had his own jazz band. Okay? And what I'm, I'm going to give you a, uh, a link of, um, it's uh, Pete Condoli, the two Triscari brothers, Ray and Joe, and John Breach, I believe, uh, was the other one. And now it's, it's not super high stuff, but guys, listen to the pop, listen to the power, listen to the trombone section, listen to the way they orchestrated this. I mean, John Williams, first of all, John Williams, I love his music. 
That Olympic music and the Summon the Heroes trumpet solo is just some of the most gorgeous brass music ever written. I mean, it's right there with Gabrielli. It's right there with, uh, it, it's just stunning, stunningly beautiful. Um, Copeland is another one. Stunningly beautiful um, brass music. And some guys, not everybody, has nothing to do with the genius. But some guys just really innately knew how to write for brass. Either they had great brass players at their disposal that they could write for and consult. Is this going to work? Is this, you know, and all that sort of stuff. But his, his brass music is just incredible. And the sound scores, I mean, Star Wars, please. Legendary stuff. Now, before I let you go, and I want you to listen to this, um... I, I, give me your comments. And, and this is just a what if. Who knows? Who knows? But here's the deal. Let's just say Beethoven, Mahler, Strauss, Wagner were alive today. You think they'd be cashing in and writing film scores? They just might. Now let's do the flip side. It's had nothing to do with trumpet. I've often talked about this with some of my cronies. Flip side. If John Williams was alive back in Beethoven's day, would he have nine symphonies that we just listen to and perform endlessly? I do believe that is the level of his talent for his writing, John Williams now. I, I do believe that. Um, because of the nature of how he made a fortune, it's very commercial, but he, he's brilliant. Brilliant. Just something to think about. But check out the Triscari brothers, and the sound and the power. And remember, different way of recording back then. This is 1961. Probably everybody was all in one room and there was one or two mics around. You'll hear. It's a different thing. To me, the golden age, man. The golden age. Anyway, Joe, thanks for all your help. I'm telling you. He's killing it. I'm going to let you go down the road, but he's killing it on the trumpet. Not only has he embraced um, all things Jerry with the chops and all that sort of stuff. He's juicing, he's eating banana milk, rice, doing kettlebells. God bless him. Jerry would be thrilled with who he chose to get the scholarship. Anyway, that's it. Guys, have a great weekend. We'll talk on Monday. And... Uh, let me know what you think. Johnny Williams and the Triscari Brothers. Love you all.